we do have a sponsory doodad stream today we are playing a game known as hollywood animal um this is something that's been in the works for a while now um if any of you were ever players of hold up an old game called this is the police um that was an old an old game from 2016 and this is the police 2 from 2018 um that those were the games uh, that the pr company previously made apparently they are quite popular they they uh have very positive reviews on steam uh yes it's from an old uh, steam next fest thing it's like a kind of like a management game it's like a hollywood management game hollywood animal is a mechanic kind of like uh, they, they described it in a very specific way uh it's like a right so it's inspired by the movies uh, Frostpunk, that was one of the ones that really made me want to play it, and Crusader Kings 3. Uh, also, as they say, vibes of the previous game. This is The Police 1 and 2 and Rebel Cops. Um, the game is coming to Steam this year, 2024, and if you would like, I would be very pleased if you were to check out exclamation point Hollywood in the chat, and you can go and check it out on Steam and wishlist it, because wishlisting games is arguably one of the best possible ways to support uh, smaller developers. So, yeah, um, this is very much a classic, like, strategy management style game. Um, oh, oh, my goodness, I totally forgot. Uh, of, of course, as mentioned before, sponsored segment here. Sponsored segment here, of course, of course. Got to make sure you let that know. Um, but they also mentioned that they gave a character profile of me in the demo. You purchase a bankrupt studio to build a new business on its ruins. Hollywood Animal. Oh, I can name it. Chat, ideas, Epstein Studio. I shouldn't say that during the sponsored stream. Brick Inc, Brickler Studios. Gooner Productions, Brickencorp, Brickyard Pictures, Bricked Up Productions. No, hold on. Bricked Up Media, Perfection. Name your executives. Movies are not only made by actors and directors. Your film studio also employs people who quietly keep the machine running behind the scenes. What are their names? Dick Mullen, Barry Wheeler, and Skylar White, yo. Along with the studio grounds, you also receive the footage from an unfinished movie. Filming was completed, but it was never edited. You'll need to complete the picture. What is this movie? Limpin' Luke, Blind Love, Messenger of Death. I say noir. We gotta do a noir one. Can I change the name? No, damn. That's fine. Protagonist, detective. Bill had little faith in the local police, so he hired a private investigator, Harry Burroughs. Harry was a young man, but he had sharp wits and a keen mind, enough to solve dozens of difficult cases and even earn him reputation of a genius. Rudd and I had just got engaged, Bill Zeman offered helplessly as Harry examined the crime scene. The police had already taken away the body, but the bouquet of roses still remained on the living room floor. Compliments of the courier. Harry Burroughs played by Joe Duvall. Ratings. The show's movie's commercial appeal. The higher it is, the more easily a film will succeed with a general audience. This shows the movie's artistic appeal. The higher it is, the more recognition it can expect from the sophisticated audience. Ah, ah, okay, okay. So we have um, the classic um, audience and critic score for Rotten Tomatoes, so to speak. The screenwriter Maurice Fox loves to write detective stories. Thanks to his experience and talent, the investigation turned out to be sus suspenseful and intriguing. The story's elements can- Oh, we have to manage the proper writers and stuff and give them the right tasks. After pre-production, the film's ratings rose even higher. Casting famous actors is the surest way to boost commercial artistic appeal, but other factors include influence the ratings, including quality, scenery, and modern equipment. What the fuck happened to Joe Duvall? He's dead! Joe, what happened? He fucking died? This is our movie card. Screenwriter, genres, setting, protagonist, antagonist, supporting character, producer, director, and cinematographer. Oh, fascinating. How much money the studio has spent on the picture? This isn't the final budget, as work on the film is not yet complete. Assign employees to handle editing and scoring. At present, the studio's personnel are not the most qualified, but over time, their skills will grow. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see here. 
This person's very unhappy, but they're very loyal. This person seems to be, what's this say? Alcoholic. <laughs> Sorry, Oliver. I'm, I'm working with Emma on this one. Composer. Racist. <laughs> Sorry, I'm cover I'm covering this. I'm sorry, I'm I'm currently covering this. That 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 threw me off, dude. <laughs> that that threw me off. <sighs> Racist. Despise people with the wrong skin toes, nose shape, or eye shape. Holy! That caught me off guard. Dude, he was called racist in the 20s. He's extra racist. <laughs> That's a good point. If you're called racist in the roaring 20s, you're not just racist, you're like. You're like bad uh you planned out post production but until you assign a department head you won't be able to get things moving to hire new employees first appoint an hr director a human resources devar i mean we got Skylar white yo over here so uh let's see here seniority four years cost contract term four years the heat this guy is cheap he's just not he's very unhappy though god what's wrong what the fuck's wrong with dolores i'm taking you randy Post depression? Yeah, but like Randy's chilling. Randy's okay. Hire a distribution head. So here's the distribution department. Ah, uh, I like you. You seem pretty good and you're not too expensive. Go, Melvin. And then the head of this department. This guy's loyal as shit. This guy's less loyal, but he's uh very happy and is he's cheap as hell. Yeah. Post production has begun. Here you can see how far along the project is and how quickly it's progressing. Okay, this is really cool. This animation kind of kind of bangs. Time to start working on a new movie. First, build a department for developing scripts. Oh my God, there's a whole building thing here. Script department, start construction. Okay. So I'm assuming, a, yeah, it has to be in the green area. Developers, Luxta Constructions. Condition 50%, 100%. So we have to choose the construction company. God, it's expensive. How much money do I have? Okay, I got about $5 million. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheap out on the construction in this one. I guess now I just kinda, I just kinda chill, unless there's other construction. These are already built, these are unavailable. Oh wait, advanced buildings? It's a water tower. How big is our studio? What is this, fucking Burbank? Oh my god, dude, the, U the UI actually, actually bangs in this game. It actually bangs. Barry Wheeler! Uh, I got divorced a couple years ago and I figured I was out of chances until I met Gilda. We spent all of our time together, we can't get enough of each other, it's always like that at the beginning. I feel guilty even mentioning it, but when Gilda visits me at work, I absolutely cannot concentrate. She enraptures me. Yesterday, I nearly got a mistake in the paperwork that could have cost the studio a lot of money. Please do me a favor. Help me fight this addiction. Let's do some kind of access control so Gilda can't just walk into my art, uh, office. My heart will be broken like any drug addict, but I hate to hurt your business and ruin my career. Are you crazy? Enjoy it while you can. Come on, it's a girl. That matters more than work. All right. Messenger of Death. Spent this stage. 29,000 total. It's fine. The film's commercial and artistic ratings dropped a bit. Don't be upset. You did everything you could. Your studio still has low-level employees and technology. So it's a, it's a work-related issue. Francis XP. Director. Editor. Compo composer got a lot of XP. Or at least he got closer to leveling up. Select a poster. I like this one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. This release calendar displays all the films being shown across America for the foreseeable future. Wild. The studio's previous previous owners already chose a release date for this film. You'll choose the next release date of the film yourself. Oh man, we we gotta make sure we don't pull a Horizon Forbidden West and release it the same day as fucking Elden Ring. You don't just own a studio, but a whole network of 91 cinemas. You can run your films in your cinemas for free, but that's not going to be enough to reach a wide audience. You'll have to rent other theaters if you want a solid box office receipts. They're they're wow, they're doing everything. 
they're they're actually doing every aspect of the film production industry. Holy shit! They'll start printing the film tomorrow. Oh god, there's the printing process, and you get ready for distribution in five weeks. Distribution goes out all at once once they finish printing. Printing speeds and costs vary by contractor. The studio's previous owners already pay to have this film printed. Typically, a film begins promotions a few weeks before the premiere, so the advertising has time to gain momentum. The studio's previous owners already arranged the advertising campaign, but in the future, you'll have to decide everything yourself. A film is being promoted for an advertising agency. It's time to tell the audience who they should target. Well, this is definitely... Uh... Uh, de definitely a, a for adults situation. It's a it's a murdery noir film until release. Forty six days. Wild is every aspect. I I am kind of getting the frost punky thing here. Like people have their own issues, you make decisions, that kind of thing as well. You know. You ask me. You ask me, a messenger of death is a surefire hit. A farewell film by a young star. The story has soul, but it will go to waste unless it's released at the right moment. The studio's, oh, fuck this. the studio's former owners were mindful of these things. They scheduled production carefully and chose a good window for releasing the film, right when the public would be hungry and there were practically no competition. But when the studio, uh, old studio closed its doors, those parasites from Margins Pictures, the side messenger of fate, would never see the light of day. There's plenty of strings, but they convinced all the theater owners to give them their, their slot, to give them our slots. The film, they, the film The Margins or releasing instead it doesn't even have a title yet, but you know what kind of slop they serve the audience. Probably something called You Yesterday's Fart or Wet Armpits. Truth is on our side, but a court battle would be long and pointless. Wait, so I'm not sure what this little Illuminati symbol is yet, but I'm going to do it. You can spend influence points to advance your interests. At, oh, costs influence points. Solve problems in various and often unconventional ways. Oh, so it's me strong arming a little bit. So it cost me 50 influence points in order to do it. Mmm. So uh, in order to make the next thing, we need the script production. So we can skip ahead a little bit while we uh, let the script area finish, I assume. Oh, hey, Lee. Script department is going according to plan so far, but there's a small snag. Uh, according to Architect's vision, the large red leaf maple should be the center decorative element. I would agree. Okay. Playing coy, he says he can't say how long the paperwork will take. Maybe a week, maybe a month. Uh, you know as well as I know. Sometimes you need to grease the gears. $200 cash, and the tree will be on the road in California tonight. $200? Chad Warden wipes his ass with $200. Oh, shit. These are different funds. When an issue needs to be resolved quickly and discreetly, the funds of the studio's bank account can be useless. When the situation gets tricky, cash is king. Oh, it's my cash. Shit. I don't wipe my ass with $200. Screenwriters turn ideas into screenplays. Condition 50%. Why? Because I did the fast version. Hire a head for a script department. God, these all suck. I've just realized something, chat. Um, I was, I was like, what, what, like, uh... How good are they at their jobs? And I realize that their levels. That's why they're more expensive. Jim, you know what? Let's spend some actual money this time. Jimmy, level three. I'm taking you. Choose your favorite genre. This is your writing team will specialize in. One out of three. Thriller, drama, and... Detective. I feel like if we're gonna do noir stuff, we gotta. These are the screenwriters remaining from the studio's former staff. What are their names? Oh god. Um, Jim Bean, Southern Comfort, Jack Daniels. Dude, we're in we're in nineteen twenty nine. What else do you are you gonna do besides drink whiskey? Script department work up several ideas for your first script. Ooh, ideas. Action, modern American city cop, romance, modern American city cowboy. Drama, Modern American City, Daring Adventure. I feel like action, Modern City Cop is the best because romance, cowboy, modern, and yeah. Seems like a weird mixture. Let's see here. Uh, None of these guys do well with action. Shit. I guess maybe we can do like a cop thriller with Jack Daniels? What's his problem? Lazy. Fuck. What's your problem? Gambler. Fuck. What's your problem? Racist? Again? The second guy I've hired that's a racist? Fuck. Continuing to develop your film studio's key to your success. Pick an upgrade for the department. 
Oh, an upgrade. Holy shit, chap. This is just the script department. Oh. Okay, this one's a lot smaller. Professional post-production facilities. Directors, editors, and composers receive twice as much experience participating in post-production. That sounds great. 1,500 days. I may have um chosen the wrong thing. Oh my God. The HR department, the legal department, the PR department. Oh Lord almighty. Oh wait, hold on. Ethnic composition. Maintain the ethnic composition of the studio staff. Wait, hold on. It says maintain the ethnic composition of the studio staff. Does that mean I'm keeping it white? Or does that mean I'm helping increase the ethnic composition? Um, I'm gonna go with services. I just don't trust it. Premiere! Ooh, I had a tagline. Kino, let's go! The Kino Mark rating system measures audience reviews. Fuck you, chat. That was a great tagline. For that movie, that was a great tagline. Uh, the Kino Mark rating system. It was literally about uh, a guy murdering like like wives and stuff, like who are going to get married and things. Um, the Kino Mark rating system measures audience reviews on the day of the premiere. If you are, you're sure, uh, yeah, if you're sure you release a quality film, but people aren't appreciating it, uh, then you may have lured the wrong audience to the theaters. Thank you, Cornelius Schroeder. Okay, okay, okay. Fours, fours. Threes, okay. Mm. Let's go! We need actor names now. Name them all after VTubers. A few of you threw a bunch of porn star names out there, which is also very funny. Let's go, it's your boy! Bricky! I found me! Let's go! Hell yeah! I was wondering when I would arrive. Let's fucking go! Kia Malifa. That's not the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me <laughs> off guard! <laughs> <laughs> I heard Lydia Globe is coming back out of retirement, or what I actually heard was that she never retired at all. She just went off to work on her voice so she can steal even more roles from us. It's too much to hope for that the greedy bitch did finally retire. There's gotta be an ounce of justice in this business. Holy shit. Is your first four weeks of success successful? The film is still making a lot more money at the box office than paying in rental fees. We'll make a lot more if we extend our original distribution plan. I click extend distribution to keep playing the movie for another four weeks under the same terms. Two weeks gross total expensive profit. That's huge profit. We should absolutely extend the distribution. Look at all that money. Okay, the weeks five through eight are not as good, but they're, they're still okay. Script results. I'm assuming it slowly goes up with time. As it's not actually that bad. Like each step, yeah. Like each step probably has its own aspect of it. I'm assuming. The one written by the racist? Oh shit, you're right. The Statue of No Liberty. <laughs> Here's some of the places where the events of the film take place. The characters spend most of their time in the locations highlighted in gold. So uh, most of the filming will take place there. Only minor scenes will be filmed at secondary locations. Okay, you need to decide which scenes would be shot should be shot on a soundstage and which would be better filmed on location. It's like the location quality on a soundstage. Location quality involves the filming equipment, scenery, and design. Outdoors, the emphasis is on the beauty and authenticity of the natural scenes. Okay. On the film scenes on the soundstage, select which soundstage you want to use. Okay, so. I don't have any sound stages. We don't have uh, options for very high areas. Oh, cinematographer. Addict. You'll be fine. Damn you, Jim Bean, you racist piece of shit. At least we got Thomas Morrison, who's just a druggie, but that's fine. 
Um, right, so we don't have a sound stage yet, so we gotta build that eventually. And then, but for now, our location quality isn't very high either because we need to get better locations, but like, this is early films, early films. What's wrong with Hugh, Hugh Janus? She's undisciplined and an addict? She's conceited. Well, that, I made that clear. Whatever, you're all conceited in Hollywood. Yeah, wait, what's wrong with me? Leader, likes to take charge and knows how to work responsibly. Hot temper, gets angry over the most trivial shit. Things. Bullshit! What else we got here? Libidinous? Libidinous! Has trouble keeping his heightened sex drive under control. Racist. Well, at least he only has to keep it under control with some people. Misogynist. What is my crew? Alcoholic. Wait, I'm the supporting character? Let's go? Uh, who's the antagonist? What do we got here? Misogynist. Oh, oh, right, right. Uh, uh, you know what? We'll pick the, the racist guy who has to have lots of sex. Oh no, the racist guy has to play a tribal chief? Oh fuck, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Huge anus, you keep that shit off your face. Script department, story workshop. Combine genres, characters, and plot twists to create your own stories. Name of the movie. That's good. Typo? No, that's intentional. It's a romance film. Modern American town. Protagonist. Okay. Male, because we're we're he's the he's the brickler on the roof. Antagonist. Um bandit. Trying to steal stuff. Male character. Supporting characters. Love interest, obviously. Female. The femme fatale that, that gives it all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? And the angry boss. Oh shit. Oh shit, you can only have so many. Crap. Okay, love interested then in, in general. Themes and events. Um Damn, I was thinking a love triangle, but wait, do I have to have like a like an antagonist though? Could I just Maybe we can do the, the love, we can maybe do the femme fatale and the love interest. We do a love triangle and the finale ends up with the uh, sweethearts stay together. Fuck you, you racist asshole, Jim Bean. You're the one who does drama the best. God damn you. Nice. Okay, what well, we got this one? Four weeks gross. Total, okay, so what about week five through six? Gross, renting. Okay, we probably shouldn't throw it out there for another four weeks. We're getting uh, attendance is dropping, so I think we should end distribution. Messenger of Death. 7.2 audience score, 8.5 critic score. Release date solid, audience eight, almost 18 million people. 808 expense, 3.1, uh, 3.2 uh, 3 box. 2.4 million profit. Let's go. Hell yeah. I was poring over a pile of documents we inherited and came across something rather interesting. It turns out that the previous studio promised the late Joe Duvall 25% of the box office for the film Messenger of Death. It seems this condition was added at the last minute. It was introduced as an amendment to the main contract. Just a few days before Duvall's death, no one even warned us about it. Apparently the Duvall family doesn't even know about it and what difference should it make to them? Guy started eight hits as inherent should be enough for several generations. Not that it ever matter anyway. We owe him $800,000. Well, he doesn't know, won't hurt him. Sometimes you may have to cross the line. It could be a matter of legality, could be morally. Secrecy and discretion are key. The more terrible the secret, the greater the consequences if the truth should come out. People like to talk, so your secret could become could come out at any time. The scale shows the probability that they'll be leaked. You can simply bide your time until the secret is forgotten and, ri and the risk falls to zero, or you can entrust the matter to the gentleman from the security department. Uh, we're gonna need some Pinkertons up in this house, thank you very much. Pinkertons also racist, by the way. Perfect, they'll fit right in. So there's my secrets. These are, I'm assuming, my, my employees. Yep, yep. Oh! Well, there's our uh, demographic chart. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. For for 1929, that ain't bad. That's pretty good for the times. <laughs> Services transform the lives of your employees into Hollywood fairy tales. Oh, what? So this is like, like a massive. 
uh, like, like, a, like a resort almost in a way. Between me and the devil only. Southern Comfort. Maybe we should start start the script. We have a cinematographer, right? Yeah, Harry Ray came back from vacation. And we have a sound taste stage now, too. Okay. These are the important ones. The movie theater and the station should be in inside. That seems right. Oh, there's also a hotel. We can use that for a sound stage. Actually, we should do that outside. Filming technology. We can use our fancy stuff. We'll give it all the big ups. Roy's back from vacation. David Fincher is a perfectionist. How ironic. The cop protagonist is not me. I'm working. So Gomez Gelato. The mentor can be Burn Bohem. Shit. We need more actors. Where do we get casting from? Is that pre-production? I think it's being researched. I think you're right. You picked unlocking sets and props instead of casting in the pre-production department. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. All right. I got 404 days before I can hire more people. It's fine. Sometimes accidents happen during the production of a film. You can intervene and try to solve the problem or you can just ignore it. Although it's unlikely to help the film. Oh, no. Huge ass brought a cat to the set. The thing ran away and now huge ass is crying nonstop and can't focus on her role. Those aren't my problems. We'll decrease her happiness and, uh, and loyalty by 30 and 40. She will fucking hate us. The only one will stop for 10 days. Have everyone look for a cat. Shoot whatever scenes requires the flexible... Uh, requires heroin! We don't have heroin and we don't have a flexible schedule. Everyone look for her goddamn cat. We're doing fine on money. <laughs> That's hilarious. Requires heroin. That's fucking funny, dude. Bring her on the roof. Okay, all right. Oh, that script is looking beautiful. Beautiful. Script ratings are even higher than the writer's score because of how well the story elements fit together. There it is. You know it. Wait, I might need... Oh, shit. No, I can't do this. I don't have the actors ready. Shit, yeah, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta shelf the script for a little bit because we have no more actors. Have you heard of the Wandering Malcolm? God knows what his real name is. Everyone calls him Wandering Malcolm. Before you're straight, he's been knocking at the door of every film studio can find, script under his arm. He's an odd one, sometimes real nosy, even a little scary. Sometimes he calms down, gets all sad, and sits smoking by the side of the road. He's refusing to submit a script for consideration or even share the synopsis. Says he's afraid someone will steal his brilliant ideas. He'll only agree to sell it for $1,000 cash, money in advance. This morning, he literally jumped out of my car when I arrived at work. I even managed to get a look at the title page of a script, Rotten Fates. Well, he's either full of shit and going to rip us off, or he's one of those, like, actual geniuses, and that's why he's so protective. You know, so you guys say a thousand bucks is basically free. Don't forget, it's not a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars cash. This is about 16% of our overall income. I'm, I'm going for it. He's a genius. We gamble right. Operations center. Wait, what? Why is there, there's a baseball bat on a, on a bone. Uh, wait, oh, there's bodyguard. We'll do bodyguard. Wait, abductions? Did something say uh, wait, something say abductions? No, you, no, it didn't. Contract killings! Construction complete. Services. Transform the lives of your employees into Hollywood fairy tales. Alright, uh, you know what, Cornelius? I'm go choosing you. We now offer services during negotiations. Presently, the only thing you can offer is health insurance, but you can offer new services after developing your department. You pay a monthly fee for the service, even if no one is currently using it. Yeah. The cost increases slightly with each new employee using the service. We love medical insurance. We love that shit. What are we leveling up? Silver Moon Kronos Watch. Oh my god, whiskey, cigars, special events, a party, luxury cars, illegal gifts. Listen, buddy. The police may be interested in such activities? No, they won't. Let's talk. Let's talk. Uh, 
That's fine. Here's 10k. Like, we might need that heroin, you know? Hey, what's up, heroin? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Heroin, cocaine, safari, pilgrim style hunt, monkey brains, a spicy film strip, human flesh, time with a minor. Oh, lords. We're changing the names. We're changing the names. This is truly our very own Epstein Island. Oh, Lord Almighty. I gotta be honest, though, unironically, kind of base for the developers to do that. Kind of a base concept. Like, we're not shying away from that shit. This is the whole Hollywood shebang. That's brave. That is a brave move to put that in your game, and I respect it. From the artistic integrity point of view, that's fucking brave. Fred Carpenter, mayor of Los Angeles. Let the family see your latest movie last night, and I gotta tell you, it was a lovely evening. Can't remember the last time my wife and daughter laughed so much. A serious... <coughs> a serious, an actually serious drama. Um, it's like going to an amusement cart, but it only took two hours instead of six. Of course, that's every man's number one job. Keep the woman and children happy, wouldn't you say? My daughter sure thinks so. Never stops reminding me, Dad, you promised to make me happy. But I'll be, I'll be happy if I become an actress. Oh, we get to do it. We get to make a Nepo baby. Let's go. You know what, buddy? I got great news for you. A top actress just finished off her vacation and her lessons. And your daughter will be working with her. Oh, she sucks. Oh, boy. Uh, Statue of No Liberty. Uh, New York's finest. Release the film. Mm, okay, it's not good. Hopefully it'll at least make the money back. Financial year result. Profit. Negative two mi- It's fine. We're learning. Fuck, dudes. Holy. We made nothing. <laughs> Yikes. That's a bomb, dude. It was literally number one. Nothing was out. Nothing was out. I chose a week where nothing else was out. That might be the reason why it, it, it even did anything. Wait, Wendy's co-star must have five stars minimum at least. Oh, shit. Lydia does not have five stars. Wait, I do? <laughs> yes! <laughs> We, we just need filming to wrap up. How many more days left? Oh, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. This is good now. We can continue. We can we can hire uh, Bricky as the supporting character. Sorry, but I... What am I bitching about? Sorry, but I'm still an artist. I'm not a monkey that reads lines in front of camera on command. Every artist needs the creative support of other professionals in a scene. I'm not acting with Wendy Carpenter. I don't care whose daughter she is. <laughs> Fuck that bitch! Dance, Bricky, dance! <sighs> no! 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 Oh, it's blackmail. It's blackmail. It's blackmail? I thought it was an offer. I thought it was an offer. It's blackmail. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Oh, thank Lord. <laughs> Wait, that means you've already done it? No, 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 no. I think it means, I think it means that like, what do you think blackmail means? Well, well blackmail, nor I'm looking this up. Doesn't blackmail, can't like blackmail be fake? The action treated as a criminal offense or demanding payment of another benefit from someone in return for not revealing compromising or damaged information about them. Does blackmail have to be real? Does the definition of blackmail? <laughs> It's 1929 and Photoshop doesn't exist. Well, okay, well, if, okay, well, if, if Bricky, I'm, okay, th I'm assuming this is randomized. I'm assuming this is randomized, but this is fucking hilarious that, that this game, uh, randomly, ra <laughs> that the game that they put me in randomly generated that I had <laughs> sex with a minor and are now currently allowing me to blackmail myself 
<laughs> with this information. What did the devs mean by this? I mean, fuck. I mean, I mean, I'm a piece of shit. Apparently I'll blackmail myself. I'm not actually in the game chat. I just have a portrait that replaces the, um, in this demo type thing. Um, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Hollywood Animal Devs here to op to open Bricky in your demo version. Press Q plus P in the main menu and enter the 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 code. Fifteen is the answer. You really you, you made my character in the game a fucking pedophile actor? I feel like you should add 20% to my paycheck for this stream. <laughs> Funniest chatter message out there. How about 15%? Berkey out here trying to strike a chord and it's probably A minor. I'm never gonna live this down. To be fair, you did drop kick an infant. That is wildly different. Oh God, what's wrong with Rod and Fates? Bricky was in an accident. He escaped with minor injuries. Oh, what kind of injuries? <laughs> he won't be able to work for some time. We've already filmed over half the scenes with Bricky, so we can't just replace him. Oh, God. Uh, I guess we have to wait for me to recover, I guess. Oh, both films stopped! Dick Hugh brings a very noisy dog to the shoot. The animal won't stop barking for a minute unless it's whining or howling. Morning and night, most of the crew is praying the dog will die. Oh my god, ring the cur's neck. Find someone to walk the dog away from the set. Oh, that's only 500 of the studio's money? That's cheap as hell. We're fine with that one. What's wrong here? I also brought a dog! You know what? Fuck you, Bricky. Fuck you. You and your bullshit. I'm killing your dog. It got stopped again. Someone put candy in the makeup bag. When she unwrapped it, there was a sh there was shit inside. Good Lord Almighty! Cut our losses. Okay, Chad has gone downhill. Okay, okay. I gotta call it. I gotta call it. I gotta call it. I gotta, I gotta call the stream. <laughs> Holy. All right. We're about to go bankrupt anyway. <laughs> we're, we're about to go bankrupt anyway. Holy. All right, chat. Well, uh, despite the fact that we had some very colorful, interesting options going on in this stream, some wild stuff going on, uh, chat, uh, if you would like to check out Hollywood Animal, the, the sponsor stream we had here, you certainly may. Uh, it is exclamation point Hollywood in the chat. I will have a link in the YouTube VOD version of this as well, or you may see the pinned comment. Um, <laughs> it's actually pretty great. I gotta be honest. It, it did not pull any punches, like... Certain games tend to do. Um, in fact, it didn't. It didn't pull any punches. It actually uh, fucking threw them my direction, directly in my face, and uh, harmed me with them. What a time! <laughs> um, good stuff, though. Uh, again, it was a sponsor stream. Got to tell you that, obviously, for for good old uh, uh, moral and FTC stuff reasons. Um, but it was actually really, really fun. Would recommend checking it out. Wishlisted on Steam on the link you see right there. Uh, thank you to the devs for being here in the chat and helping me out a little bit despite the things you've pulled.